Hey, my name is Kaz Rakowski. I've got a cool GPT-3 project here to demonstrate. It's a mathematical proof generator. So um, basically you feed it a theorem and it outputs a proof of that theorem. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to validate that theory, essentially. A um, good example would be, say, uh, trying to solve something that you know to be true conceptually, but aren't really sure how to, like, convey that it is certainly true. Like, uh, an even number plus an even number equals an even number. We know that's true. You can think about 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 and 4 is going to give you 8, so obviously true. But how do you, how do you prove that's going to be always true? And so let me do a demonstration here. Let's check prove. And then the theorem we're trying to prove. So even number plus an even number equals an even number. Very straightforward, simple proof. We feed it to GPT-3, sends the information out uh, using their OpenAI's API. So, take some time to crunch the numbers there, I guess. a second there. So again, this is a essentially model that I um, primed with uh, several proofs and, and theorems to kind of give it an idea how to answer these. So uh, usually the results are pretty funny and not super accurate, but let's see, let's see what it says here. So let's say that A and B are even numbers. We can write that a equals 2c and b equals 2d. Okay, so accurate so far. Uh, where c and d are integers, yep. Uh, now let's say that a plus b equals e, which is an even number. Then we can write e equals 2f, where f is also an integer. Substituting the original equation, 2c plus 2d equals 2f. Okay, dividing by both sides by 2, c plus d equals f. Then by the same argument as before, C and D have no common factor in common with each other or with F. So they must be relative prime, relatively prime to each other and to F. This contradicts our previous statement that C and D are integers. Okay, yeah, that, that it was good all along up to the very last uh, sense there. But um, we are forced to conclude A and B cannot be equal, cannot equal E for any integer E. Yeah, all right, so totally lost it there at the end, but um, started pr pretty good on the approach, I'd say. Um, let's try something a little more complicated. I had some prepped examples here. Uh, okay, another um, another theorem. Uh, every prime number of the form n equals four times m plus one is the sum of two squares. So that that's also a proven theorem uh, that you can work out. Uh, I won't go through it, but you can uh, look up the, the answers there online. So I've sent that out to the API, and it's uh, just crunching it now. Give that a few seconds. Also, here's the kind of the API that I'm using. Essentially, we, set, we create a, a GPT uh, prompt instance that we send out. Okay, let's say that 4m plus 1 is a prime number. Uh, okay, and is the product of two primes, p and q. Um, hmm, we know that p and q are both odd, so we can write, hmm, yeah, no, that, that's false right off the bat. Now we have to show that these two expressions are equal. We have to show that well, that's what that is. What that equal that 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 is what equals means. So that, that's accurate there. Subtract the second equation from the first. So let's see. They bring that q over. That looks pretty accurate. Now we can divide both sides by two. Uh, well, they didn't cancel anything out. They just doubled up the divisor. So it's there and there. 
This means that this is an integer, which implies that divided by 2 again is also an integer, sure. Uh, integer numerator. So it's a fraction with an integer numerator and denominator. Now they multiply both sides by 4 g's. That is a lot of parentheses. Um, but I do think it's still accurate, and it seems to only be expanding. And uh, so it, it reached the token cap, basically. It would have continued had I allowed it to, but that's uh, basically where, where it's going to stop. It doesn't look like it's going to come to any valid solution anytime soon. Uh, let's try one more, a more complicated one still. Uh, now... Where is it here? There we go. Every even integer greater than two is the sum of two primes. So classic uh, unproven theorem. Um, what do they call it? Uh, well, let's run that there and see what, see what we get. Gold, gold box con conjecture, I believe. So this is unproven. I don't expect any reasonable results, but it's interesting to see how GPT-3 uh, comes up with answers and tries to put together workflow. Much faster, actually. So not a good sign. Is what I'd say. Let n be an even integer greater than 2. Okay. Uh, we'll show that it's a sum of two primes. If you prove that, that'd be great. Assume that n is not the sum of two primes. So proof by contradiction it seems to do that for most of the approaches actually, which is interesting because that's not the majority of my examples. There exists interest A and B such that N equals A and B, where A and B are both greater than one. Since A and B are both greater than one, they must also come factor greater than one. I don't know if that, that that's definitely not necessarily true, but I guess if they're not the sum of two primes, then they, wouldn't necessarily be common, but so we have to divide both A and B, so it must divide in the product AB. Well, if true, then that would be true, but still, I don't think it really leads you to the answer. Thus, the common factor divides N as well, also true, which contradicts our assumption that N is not divisible by any prime number other than 2 and 3. Don't know where 3 came from. That was not part of, that was not part of anything. Um, So that's new. Therefore, we have shown that every integer greater than two is the sum of two primes. Yeah, I don't think that Goldbach's uh, theorem uh, conjecture has been solved by GPT-3 just yet. Uh, but uh, certainly an, an interesting, uh, interesting approach. Maybe if I gave it some more, uh, like allowed it to, to uh, respond in uh, lengthier answers. It could have given us some more in information, but uh, I think it's really mostly developed for uh, conversational and semantical pieces as opposed to um, these these logic proofs. But I'll continue to work on it and see if in the future we get, get comes up with uh, some useful proofs for whatever situation. Thanks.